Hi, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stan Lab. All right, we're coming in with this week's Greenleaf. Before we get started, we hey. want to welcome everyone back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and um, consider hitting that subscribe button. We are now at 17,000 subscribers. Yeah. Hey. And that's thanks, thanks to y'all. So go ahead and rate the video thumbs up or thumbs down at this point. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> You've already been counted. And as we've been saying in the previous videos, if you want to keep up with us on a day-to-day -day basis, make sure that you are following us on Instagram yeah. at Random TV Reviews. And as my husband has been telling you all, make sure that you're following our lifestyle vlogs over yeah. there on Life With Us TV. Everything yeah. will be pinned down below. Yeah. And on yesterday, we had two videos that launched on yesterday. We had an interview with Desiree Ross, a.k.a. Sophia from Greenleaf. Yeah. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. And go ahead and look at the live that we did on last night right after the show where we just yeah. chopped it up with you all. Yep. So we're going to get right into it. The third day. The third this is episode day. three of season five. The day that Jesus rose from the grave. Hello. He yeah. rose again. That's love. Yeah. So we got a Bob Whitmore that's going around, and he's basically being like Donald Trump around these parts. Hmm. Anybody that gets close to a story that can ruin him gets fired. Gotta get rid of him. Gotta go. So that's what happened to Darius in this episode. <clears throat> Darius doesn't have a job anymore. But Darius was like, you know what? I still want to find out what it is that he's really up to. And you know he's trying to get closer closer to Gigi too, Oh, right? yeah, he's trying to get them panties back to the side. Hmm, tell her to keep her feelings to the side. yeah. So he said, I'm going to go ahead and still catch this flight to Las Vegas, and I'll pretty much get with you on the information that I find out once I land over there in Vegas. So that's how that went. Over there at the Brown Liquor Estates, <laughs> we have a whole situation going on over there. Bishop and Lady May are sitting there, and they're trying to figure out a name for this new church, right? Can't come up with nothing. But Bishop is over there going into memory lapse again. He's over there naming churches in which they are already familiar with that you should be remembering that we can't name our church that church because you know that church. <laughs> and he don't remember until Lady May has to jog his memory a little bit. So she was like, you know what? Let's put a pin in it. We need to go ahead and figure out a way to get you over there to the doctor because you <laughs> need a physical. Now, just like black men or men in general... Hmm. do not like to see the doctor, do not like to know what's going on. They swear that a ginger ale beating your chest on a band-aid can fix everything. Let me and go the ahead. Lord. And the Lord. <laughs> and Funky Dineva did a powerful video on today where his aunt is possibly suffering from COVID, but she didn't know because she didn't want to go to the doctor. It was a whole video. Go watch Funky Dineva's video on that. It's really good. And he talks about how the black community, we don't take care of ourselves, and especially black men. So, plug, if some skit's going on with you, go get it checked out. Yeah. Most things can be aided, get headed off at the head, and you don't have no permanent consequence behind it, you know. Mm -hmm. But anywho, which... Yeah, I agree with you. Okay. Yeah, I, got, I mean, because I, I was there. I never want to go to the doctor. Yeah. yeah. But it I, was a I whole finally, situation. I, I, I finally, I mean, still sometimes I still don't want to go, but I go because I don't want to find out too late if something is really, really wrong. Yeah. And I don't want to be a burden to my wife. And you don't want to look at people's families like my family. My family is run <laughs> by almost all females. Mm -hmm. Like all of my uncles except for one is deceased. Gone. All of my uncle's husbands yep. are deceased at early ages. Yeah. Because I got to be careful because my dad died of a heart attack. Right. So I got to make sure that I keep my diet. Now I know I don't eat and do things all the time like I'm supposed to. But I try to do as much as I can. And my dad's side of the family, <clears> they live to be a very good age. There's something about them Haitians, man. They just, there's just something about them. They don't go nowhere. <laughs> they get them checks and they get it right back. <laughs> so we have a uh, bishop over there. Charity comes down and she's getting ready to go to work, right? So bishop was like, come over here, child, and sit down and talk to me. He's giving her a proposition. Listen, we about to open this church. Why don't you consider being AP over at our church? Here she go. Well, I'm already oh. AP at my church. Really? Lady May said, listen, you talking about being over there with that white asparagus of a woman. I said, Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Did she just call her white asparagus? And then she said, then to add insult to injury, say you going to be over there rocking that. What she said, that caramel milk no, baby to sleep? Cinnamon milk baby. Cinnamon milk baby to sleep. 
It's like, did you just say that said, Charity's going to be your yeah, so slave? I said, that's borderline <laughs> racist, Lady May. <laughs> what you just said right there. Now, I know none of that was in the script. Uh-uh. Oh, that was nah. a one line for sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So, um, she said, pretty much, kiss my A, bye. I ain't got time. Let me go to work where I'm appreciated, okay? Later on in the episode, we're still going to stay in this um, brown liquor estates for a minute. Later on in the episode, we have Noah that came by, right? Lady May is elated. Like, uh-huh. she loves her some Noah. Say, you looking good. Uh-huh. Say, don't she, Gigi? Don't it, Gigi? And Gigi is over there just like, I don't, I don't I, even I care. I don't care. Yeah, I got no Cut problem. Skin. Yeah. This is not. This is not what it's all about. So Lady May is talking on the lines of, okay, how does your mom feel about, you know, you having a son that nobody knew about for all these years? And he was like, my mom is cool with it. Mm-hmm. She really wants to know her grandson. And went, well, where you going to be staying at, baby? When you, why, I mean, where you going to be working at? So we all know where this is going, right? Oh, yeah. And so then she brings it up and she was like, well, when Zora goes back off to college, I was like, Zora's in college? Did I miss something? Yeah. I don't know. Don't worry but, about it. Yeah. It's been a long time. You could go ahead and probably get your cabin back. So by this time, Gigi is done with it. She just storms off because she knows that her mom is trying to make something work that Gigi does not want to work right now. But I was waiting for the flip because she was... Yeah. Uh, uh, last episode, she was so nice to Gigi and apologized to her for not understanding and and, we know and all that, that giving her some good advice and all that stuff. And now this week, skitting on her again. Yeah. So she stormed <laughs> off and Bishop had to let... He had to bring Gigi back is sent to her as the only, he's the only person that can really do that. Yeah. And he was like, listen, nobody's asking you to get with Noah. No one's asking you to marry Noah. But what we are telling you is that you are a family. Whether yeah. or not you want to agree with the terms of this, of how it came about, you and that man are forever connected. Yeah. So you're going to have to figure out a way to coexist with each other if you ever want that boy to have a sustainable <clears throat> life. Yeah. So to speak. And she was like, okay. So basically that, that brought Gigi back down to where she needed to be, right? Yeah. And that was very good wisdom too. It was. Cause but we, I, mean, I cause love we, Bishop. Yeah, because we find, you know, all the time where, you know, the man and the woman just can't get along for some reason. And they put the kids in the middle of it. I mean, we done talked about it before. Kids should not be the coward casualty or injured or messed up because y'all relationship didn't work. So you have to be, you have to find some kind of way to connect in order to be able to take care of this child. You know, they, they, you mm-hmm. know, children ain't stupid. They, they know when oh, dysfunction know. is present. They will just act like they don't know what it is, except if you're Zora, <laughs> and you'll let your parents know <laughs> that y'all, <laughs> that y'all fucked up. But yeah, but majority of the time kids know that. But if you can find a way to balance that love and get yourself together, man, do it. Do so it. that's you. Get it back right with the with the person you was with for the kids' sake. Yeah. Uh, like Bishop said, I ain't telling you to marry him. Just just be a family. Like, yeah. To, to raise a child. That's it. But um, Lady May was on a whole nother level. Yeah. Whole she, nother level. Yeah. But she was reading Gigi for filth. She was like, well, how do you think your boy feels? <laughs> he was thrown away by one parent and another parent that didn't even you know, know he exists. That's it. <laughs> Lady May, you're not helping in this situation, yo. But Bishop also let us know, say, listen, mm-hmm. whole bunch of her anger is so misguided and misdirected. Don't even pay her no Because she knows she right messed there. up with faith. Yeah. Yup. So let's talk about Charity, Phil, and Judy Wright. Over at that church, I don't even know why Charity is there. Yeah, they told I don't know her, so I'm trying to figure out. They told her that on the first, um, for the first sermon, they want her to do the welcome. AP doing the welcome. We're not saying that it ain't that it, it, it ain't doesn't really happen. On you, yeah, but really, but they they did it in a condescending way. Yeah, like like okay. this is all you're good. This for is what right you're now. good for right now is doing the welcome. So then later on, <clears throat> they was like, you know what? Since Carlton is now gone, we need a little help with the music ministry, and she agreed to it. She was like, you know what? I'll do it. Because what she's not going to do is buck up our music ministry so when it's my time to preach, I all need, my I people I need the people to be there in the pews. I said, I got you on that one. Yeah, that's one thing of black folk. When they if go to church, that music is off. That music is off. 
they gone. They gonna be pissed off. Oh yeah. And if that song ain't right to get them in the spirit, mm. and y'all off that Sunday, them jokers gonna be hot. Oh, they are gonna let you know, and they are gonna let you know in that time and offering too. But like I told you, uh, uh, I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit mm. uh, about them wanting her to be over at the new church with the bishop down. I said when offering them her to be AP, I said she should go ahead and quit as soon as it's time when they are doing good. Oh yeah. And, sock it to and, him. And sock it to him. And then they looking for her to show up to do the music. Like, where's Charity? Where's Charity? Oh, she over she at gone. her daddy's church. Yeah, she over at her daddy's church sank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So, we see Judy. Judy is now, she, for one, have we ever really figured out what's Judy's deal? Like, we know she's ditzy. We know that she's a daddy's girl. And pretty much whatever she wants, daddy makes it happen. But is she all the way there? Like, she seems like one of those people. Remember that movie we watched? What's the name of it? Where it was the redhead girl? Wedding Crashers. Yeah. She reminds me of the redhead chick on Wedding Crashers. Where I ain't gonna see you. Like, in the middle of the night, she will be standing over top of oh, yeah. you with a freaking steak knife. Yep. So, we see Judy. I'll give you some dry a got on food. Well, we saw that. Yeah. <laughs> she is flaunting this ring in Charity's face. And she was like, how does this ring look? You know, and then, and then, well, it's his mother's ring and this, that, and the third. And Charity was like, well, I always thought it was a nice ring. So as if she's already seen it. So I asked in the um, live last night, I said, was that the ring that Charity had? And he turned around and gave it to Judy because yep. she seems familiar with that ring. Yep. So I'm not really sure. I think it is. She was like, yeah, I'm going to have to get it sized and whatnot. And I was like, here we go. I'm going to tell you this. Phil, if Phil doesn't love charity, we, that's to be questioned. It still is to be questioned. I think he do. But he is miserable with Miss Judy. Yes, you hear what I say? Yep. He over there with that unseasoned food, them unseasoned prayers. It's just the whole situation over there at that house. He looks like, just kill me now. Yeah. And put me out of my face freaking misery at that table he looked like i'm just about to risk it all and say fuck this <laughs> even when the prayer was on he was like like i ain't i ain't even gonna respect the lord right now because i'm said, sick of this i'm sick of this yeah. shit <laughs> i said what in the potato salad and raisins is going but, on but here? it goes to show you man that some people will go to the extreme absolutely to get what they want absolutely i, I don't i don't know if that's a good price to pay to be able to preach mm -mm. So we got Carissa. Carissa's still on her skit. I'm getting ready to go to work. Something that you should be doing. And I told him last night on the live, where's she going? She's a yeah. school teacher. Where you going to go? You getting dressed up to go to the next room to get on Zoom? And teach them kids on Zoom? <laughs> I know school is out. God darn it. Teachers, we appreciate y'all. Because I don't know how the hell y'all oh, do it. Y'all do it, yeah. And, and y'all are definitely it. underpaid. Yeah. Yeah, so I know that y'all are passionate about what y'all do. So, yeah. Yeah, and I've been Keep seeing the, little, the parades that they've been doing. They've been doing them here, like the kids. Yeah. I'm missing their teachers and stuff, so they're doing parades. So, shout out to all the teachers around there. Yeah, and then shout out to y'all that have, you know, because y'all, the schools are underfunded. Oh, gosh. Yes, and y'all have to go in y'all pocket and make it happen for some of the kids in the school to make sure they have pencils, lunch. papers, lunch, and stuff <laughs> like that. So, yeah, shouts out to y'all, man. Appreciate what y'all do. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. So, Jacob gets up, and Jacob <clears throat> goes over there to Keisha Cole Skanks. Keisha Cole Skanks is over there in the projects. At first, I was like, where is she? But later on, I was like, oh, okay. She over here in the hood, hood where they do the most good, but her, her apartment looked cute. It was nice and clean. She had it decorated real cute and whatnot. But it's this big. Yeah. I said, Lord, basically ain't leaving. Just a little no bigger money. than a studio apartment. Yeah. Well, the whole reason for him going <laughs> over there, because I thought at first, I said, Jacob, you on your old skit again? Yeah. Well, she he needs her to take him over to, I don't know if her name was Terry or Taryn. I could not figure out what they were saying. <laughs> but Taryn is the sister to Basie and Rochelle. And he has some questions about this here wheel, these people, how did everything come about? So ended up over there. Homegirl was like, you know what? I always knew that this day would come. And I said, I was like, wait a minute. What you're not going to do is get me in this building. Yeah. And yeah. We are here in the hood and I watch freaking power and I see what <laughs> happened to people when they go into buildings that look like this. They don't come they, out. They check in, but they don't check out. 
I said, oh, you ain't gonna you put me. One. You not gonna close this door behind me in this building. Now, now I'll be like, building. I'll be like, wait, wait, wait. Let me go back to the car. I got, I forgot something. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go get my piece Peace. before you lock <laughs> me in here. So she was like, basically, I was waiting for the day that a green leaf would come back and make it right. And he was like, so what are you talking about? So he had the questions that you know we've been mm-hmm. hearing all the time. Do you really know that my daddy pretty much called the hit to have your daddy killed in that church? And everybody is going off of the story yeah. that Basie has told them of mm-hmm. what had happened. That dad got a call, come to the church immediately. They're saying that Bishop made that call. Jacob is like, so how do you not know that Mag didn't make that call? So now we're going around the circles mm-hmm. of whose truth are we going to believe right now? And then he's asking about that lady's name that was on the wheel. And the lady, um, Taryn, was like, where's this going? So yeah. she knows something she about knows this. She something, yeah. But she is uncomfortable about talking about it. And Jacob said, you know what? Let me go ahead and put a pen in it right here. I promise you that when I can speak on it some more, I'll come back and I'll talk to you. But it makes I me, said, oh boy. But it makes me wonder if they were doing something that was wrong. Because I'm like... It was really a simple question, like, what, yeah. what's the relationship between um, Daryl James and, and, and Loretta Davis? What's right. the, I mean, they, she could have just said, oh, they're cousins, or oh, that's uh-huh. his grandma. Oh, that's oh, that, the lady he was yeah, going on so, side. Yeah, so I'm like, it yeah, all so day, what's going day. on with them? So it seemed like they was trying to do something sneaky. Maybe they were trying to get the, the house and the church, but Mac and them some kind of way beat them to the punch, beat them to the punch and got it. So I we'll don't see. know. I don't know. It was a lot going on. So Jacob, you know, he goes ahead and he brings um, Keisha Cole Skanks back to her apartment. And Keisha Cole Skanks was like, you know what? Did you ever like me? Did you ever like me? <laughs> she, she talks just like Melody on um, Love and Marriage Love, Huntsville. Huntsville. Yeah. And um, he was like, yeah. Yeah. And then he slips up and he was like, you know what? But when this um, divorce is over between me and Carissa, Lord, you can see her old She said div- div- Divorce? Div- <laughs> and she went in to give him a kiss and he was like oh nah, oh, oh we're I gonna said, do it right this time i said oh you a changed Respect. man for real yeah so he was like you know when all of this is straight pretty much i'm coming back for you now nah, i'm gonna tell you what really happened <laughs> carissa got him by the balls with that wheel that's why he didn't kiss her because he know he did that and they got back together that was gonna make it worse when she go to the lawyer man go back to the lawyer and say so now he cheating yeah so speaking of that huh he goes back to the house and finally he has enough information that he's like, I'm I'm just ready to confront my dad and ask him some questions about this here. We all of this good stuff. But Carissa is still on her skit. Mm-hmm. She's talking cash money about this, that, and the third. And Jacob was like, you know what? At this point, whatever you and your lawyer got going on, just let them know that I want shared custody, custody. of my yeah. son. And she was like, and, and have he, your father in jail? To... He was like, I don't care if he do. I don't care if he don't. But I'm about ready to find out. Yeah. Either he deserves to be there or or he he don't. don't. But you're not going to keep holding this over my head. And you could tell she got scared. Like, she done lost her little bit of power that Mm -hmm. she had over him. And he walked over there and he started... um, He probably called her bluff, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he went over there where Bishop was over there on the elliptical with another (laughs) tracksuit on. He He had them them pants heist up. (laughs) I said, so you think that getting on, Get on a treadmill before Monday is going to affect, affect your test results? Oh, no. Nah. Just like when people know they got blood work to be done, they stop eating sugar. Yep. They don't eat no salt. <laughs> like, all of that's going to cleanse through the blood in 24 hours. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so that pork chop that you ate two days ago soon as they draw that blood they're gonna get that pork and yep. that grease before they get to that blood i wish you did i wish you could get on a treadmill and reverse your numbers in a matter of a couple of days hello or elliptical shoot everybody be doing it huh somebody on instagram will sell you that shut up huh. for 19.99 come out with a course that you get on elliptical for 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 three days all your numbers go down mm-hmm. after they don't got off the table with dr miami but yeah. they're going to sell it to you for nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. And they're going to make a killing, too. But wait. <laughs> order <laughs> now. And now you can get the second one for free. We'll throw it away. <laughs> trainer for free. <laughs> I'm like, if y'all don't get out of my freaking face with this bullshit. You always know they don't come with but wait. Yeah. So, let's let's talk about Sophia and Zora, right? So, y'all know last week, Sophia's titty pics went all over the internet, right? Yep. So, we see that Miss Zora... She decides she's going to help her cousin out. And she went 
ahead and she reported every page that had those titty pics on, you know, on display. So she made sure that as she typed it in, nothing came up. So she pretty much wiped the internet clean of her cousin's titty pic. Good job, Zora. But somebody has a file. Yeah. They're called Lipstick Alley. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> they have a file. It's there. Um, and then Nikki comes. Nikki and Sophia got in to Do it. it mm -hmm. Because Sophia was pretty much trying to trash Nikki's clothes that was over there at Zora's place, right? So they got into it. Sophia ain't got them hands at nah, all. Nah. I was mad at Zora because I'm like, Zora, you gonna let your cousin get beat up in y'all house? Come on now. But like I told you on the live last night, if y'all, if if you, if you, you know, you smash it, <laughs> you ain't fit to say nothing. Alleged. Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> they move like a couple. They do move like they a couple. They move now. like a couple. And I, I still don't understand how we just went from that getting ready to happen last season to it not being spoken about again. Yeah. I don't know. So Nikki be back. Like I told y'all on the live last night, Nikki is going to be back. Matter of fact, as soon as Sophia left, she was like this. Nikki, you can come now. Mm. She's gone. Well, before Nikki left up out of that place, because Zora ended up putting Nikki out. I was like, okay. Kudos to you. But Miss Nikki threw up in Sophia's face. At least I can have babies. Yeah. Now My she know that God. that's something that hurts Sophia to her Our core. core. Yeah. So after Nikki left, Zora said, Sophia, I promise I didn't tell her. So how did she find out? Unless Sophia confided in Dante. Is the name Dante? Dante. Yeah, Dante. Yeah. About her not being able to have kids, and then he pillow talked with Nikki about it, and Nikki threw it back up in well, her face. Well, Zora told her. Zora said, "I didn't tell her." She said she did. Didn't tell her, but, but one, one of y'all told her. One of y'all told it. Yeah. So I was like, "God, that's messed up." So what am I talk about next? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the hospital because ain't nothing else to talk about. Yeah. Over at the hospital, you know, we still have Noah and Gigi. They're waiting and waiting. And just waiting for an opportunity for AJ to say, I want to see in. You. Yeah. Well, that opportunity doesn't come. But what does come is Sophia comes through the door. And she was like, Mom, don't be mad at me. But he wants to see me. She's like, I'm not <laughs> mad at you. Pretty much, thank God that he wants to see somebody from this family. If you can get through to him, then, yeah. then so be it. <clears throat> so she goes in there. And she brings him his sweatshirt, and he's talking. He actually looked like he was so excited to see his sister. Mm -hmm. But here he comes with his doom and gloom. I just want to have an opportunity to tell you goodbye. Because I'm leaving. Because in the morning, unless they kill me or zap me or do whatever, I'm out of here. At this point, take your tail wherever you want to go. Just, just go. Take the next flight out to exhausted. wherever you want to go. <laughs> So by this time, Sophia had already she, been in a fight. Done, yeah. She had titty pics. She is <laughs> over it. I mean, Sophia is over it. She was like, what is it? Like, what's this deep, dark secret, secret. Yeah. that you just walk around in this dark cloud about that you don't want to talk to any of us about? And he was like, I'm not the type of person that can have a family. <clears throat> I'm not the type of person can, that can be in a family. I was like, what the fuck does that even mean? Yeah. So... I was like, unless you like a child molester or something like that, then that, we can, we can, exp yeah. Yeah, or a mass it, murderer or something, yeah. We can even accept murderers. That's the craziest thing. But you, when you mess with kids, it's, you got uh, yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah. So she was like, just tell me I'm tired. She was like, I'm tired of the BS. I'm tired of the, uh, what is it? So we see that he tells her. She comes back out in the waiting room and she has this, Look on her face like, uh, he, yeah, he mom, wants to see you, you mom. Now. Yeah. But I'm like, why did it took Sophia to do that for him to open up? And a child should lead him. Yeah. <laughs> so she gets, um, Gigi gets in the room and we're all sitting on the edge like, okay, okay. is he going to confess? Yeah. Inquire minds want to know. <laughs> and then he says, while he was in prison... He was raped. Mm -hmm. And while being raped, he contracted HIV. Which explains a lot. Yeah. It really does explain a lot. It, to me, it explains him robbing the pharmacy. 
because now I believe that he stole the medicine that he needed to keep himself well. Mm -hmm. um, it explains his, every time someone gets close to him, he backs it's away, way. he pulls mm -hmm. away. It explains a lot. But what needs to happen, and I saw this last night in the live, now that this information has been divulged, everybody has turned a soft spot towards AJ, as well as I have too. But AJ has to give us something to work with. Yes. Because a victimized person cannot continue to victimize right. everyone else around them yeah. while they're on the journey of healing. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Yeah. For instance, if I was cheated on in a previous relationship, I can't keep abusing him with that. Mm -hmm. I have to set myself aside and get myself together but I can't just withdraw and not get myself together. Yeah. So I'm hoping that's what AJ is trying to do. At some point, just get the help that you need to yeah, I was live say he need counseling. with this. Yeah. Because now this is your new normal. Yeah. And what we're going to do with this, we don't know as a family how, how this is going to transcend through the Greenleaf family. Like we talked about last night on mm -hmm. the live, <clears throat> when you're dealing with older people and you say, you know, the word HIV, it can come. Yeah. You just don't know how <laughs> it's going to come out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because they, they thinking about it from the Magic Johnson era where they yeah. felt like if you had it, it was a death sentence. Yeah. You can't eat out of my, my dishes. You can't eat out of my utensils and stuff like that. So hopefully we don't explore that. I don't want them to explore that because we're beyond that. Yeah. We know now that it is not a death sentence. You can live with it. You can live a very healthy and flourishing life. Yeah, you can. And, but I want AJ to get healed yeah. internally so that he can start to accept what people are trying to do. Yes. The whole situation is so bucked up. Yeah. He and, he, was, and he probably got raped by a person that he trusted in there. Probably. They probably took him under the wing like, bro, I got you. And, and you know, I got really your got back. You. And then, yep, yeah, he so got your does. back for real. You know, whenever someone <clears throat> is violated in that way, mm -hmm. you are never going to be the same person. No. Nah. Trust me. I know that. You have to learn how to live but with But you it. have to learn to live with your new normal. And that, and that could be his his thing was his 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 lashing out is that he probably finally you know opened up and trusted somebody and they crushed him. So I yeah. understand you know. And Gigi has errored. She's yeah. errored since they you know have yeah. made contact. But you both are erring. Yeah. And I don't want him to keep lashing out at her every time she errors mm -hmm. because of this hurt that he has that he's carrying around with him. So that's why I think that family counseling will come in and. And not and by Bishop. Like, yeah, not by Bishop, not by First Lady, not by anybody that know him. Yes. Total stranger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can definitely help with that. But that was, um, it didn't hit me like the boom, ba ba wow, like I thought it was. Yeah. Like, I would have felt way more like if he had said, I've been deceiving you this entire time. I'm not the real AJ. I really thought that's what or, he was going to say. Or they, what I think they should have did with the storyline, they should have made a turn while we was pissed off at the way he was treating them. And he started being good and start bringing us all back in and bringing us back in. Like, yeah, AJ, cool. You know, he got healed. You know, they doing good. And they say, you know, what? boom, he got HIV. Mess us up. Almost like Kanan on power. Yeah. We couldn't stand Kanan. And then we started and then loving Kanan. we started Kanan. loving Kanan, man. And then. Yeah, but AJ <laughs> has slowly have been pushing all of us away. Like, but, if you want to keep running, just keep running. <laughs> yeah, but I got a feeling that the writer's attempt is going to be is they're going to bring us, bring AJ back in good with us. That's what they're going to do. Yeah. So that's what that, that's what that was. HIV was to do that. Yeah. So how do y'all feel about it? <clears throat> um, yeah. It, it's a, it's a lot. It's, it's a, a lot. lot. It's mm -hmm. a lot knowing that now hindsight being 2020, that AJ slit his wrist, knowing that he was HIV positive. It, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot to, um, to unpack when it comes to this, but we're going to explore it all. Yeah, we're going to see what's going to happen on this right. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty cell. Two out. Two down. Holla. 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 Holla.